Hi, boys and girls. How are y'all? It's good to see you today. Have you ever seen an inchworm? Well, this is what they look like. You might have seen them around. What they do, they squinch up like that. And a few years ago, my daughter took this picture and some of the others I'm about to show you. But what they will do, they will reach way on out. But it's an inch for them. Sometimes they even see their shadow. Look at there. See how he sees his shadow? And then they will squinch back up. But the whole time it's reaching and squinching, reaching and squinching, reaching and squinching. And it's measuring an inch each time. And that kind of inspired me a few years ago to write a story. And that story is The Little Inchworm with a Big Dream. So I'm going to read it to you now and let's see what we find out. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who wanted to pick some flowers for her mother. She looked and she looked and she looked. She looked here and she looked there, yet she could not find just the right flowers anywhere. The little girl remembered about some seeds that she and her mother had planted long ago in a lovely meadow. They had tilled up the soil, laid out the rows, planted the seeds, and covered them carefully. Next, the little girl and her mother watched as the rain watered the seeds and the sun warmed up the earth so that the tiny seeds could grow. For a while, the little girl had anxiously gone to the meadow every day to see how the flowers were growing. Much to her disappointment, she found that there was nothing but dirt. And that really hurt. Bless her heart. Now, full of renewed hope, the little girl questioned, I wonder if our little seeds ever grew. There's only one way to find out. She ran to the meadow as fast as her little legs would carry her. As she neared the meadow, she could smell a wonderful scent wafting through the air. Flowers, she cheered. When she arrived at the meadow, she could not believe her eyes. Hundreds of beautiful flowers greeted her with their brightly colored faces. It looked as if a rainbow had burst into laughter and had fallen upon the ground to glow in the happiness that it felt. The little girl had never seen such a wondrous sight. It made her smile with pride and delight. After a few moments, the little girl noticed a teeny tiny inchworm slowly making its way across the garden. <gasps> Hello there, little inchworm. How are you today? The inchworm confidently stood up on his back legs as if he were reaching up to the sky and happily answered, Greetings. I am fine, thank you. How are you, my dear? Oh, I'm just fine and dandy. Thank you very much. I'm picking flowers to take home to my mama. We planted these seeds long ago, and God has made them grow and grow. Yes, he makes all things beautiful, the little inchworm declared as he went back to his measuring. Soon, Curiosity got the best of the little girl, and she asked, What are you doing? Without hesitation, the inchworm happily answered, I'm getting there, I'm getting there, I'm getting there, woohoo! I'm getting there, I'm getting there, and you can get there too! The little girl got so excited and wanted to go too, although she was not quite sure where there was. Getting where? She questioned. To my goal. 
the inchworm said as he went on with his measuring. Still curious, the little girl inquired further. Well then, where is your goal? The inchworm giggled. <laughs> it's right here, my dear, but I have to go all the way around the world first, for I am measuring the entire earth inch by inch. The little girl was stunned. Wow, that is a huge job for such a teeny tiny inchworm. Won't it take you a very long time? Won't you get tired along the way? The inchworm smiled and said, Yes, it will take a very long time, and I am quite sure that I will get awfully tired along the way. However, my want is much bigger than all of the wants I will encounter. Anyway, I don't worry about how long it will take and things like that. I just concentrate on the next step, and I know that I can make it that far. Realizing her new friend's immeasurable wisdom, the little girl begged, Please, tell me more. So the inchworm continued, Well, my dear, I've learned that when my dream is big enough, it makes all of my problems seem small. I am determined to reach my goal no matter what. This is when the want is important. I won't let anything keep me from doing my best to get to where I'm going in life. This is what I was meant to do. This is why God made me. It's my purpose. I'm going to keep on going knowing that with each step I take, I'm getting closer to my goal. As I said before, I'm getting there. Inchworm, you have inspired me, she cheered. If a teeny tiny inchworm can do such a big thing in life, then I can do great things too. The inchworm was pleased to see that he had made a difference in the life of his new friend. It gave him a feeling of peace and joy. He knew that this fantastic feeling would help him to keep going step by step, inch by inch. So look at there, they're on top of the world. Before moving on to continue his journey in life, the inchworm gave his friend a last tidbit of advice. Remember, my dear, you are only small if you think that you are small. Keep going and keep growing. Dream big and never give up. Lessons learned along the way will help you do better every day. During all of those times when you get discouraged and think that nothing great is ever going to happen, just remember all of your little seeds that God made to grow into these beautiful flowers. Even though you could not see it on the surface, there was a miracle taking place underneath. Patiently trust that when the time is right, God will bless you with his loving light. After thanking her inspiring friend for his enormous advice, the little girl blew him a kiss and he sighed, <laughs> how very nice. As she waved goodbye, he could hear her say, remember to stop and smell the flowers along the way, and I'll say a prayer for you every day. The little girl quickly gathered a bouquet and ran home as fast as she could go. She couldn't wait to tell her mother the news. Mama, Mama, I just met the most amazing inchworm. He's measuring the entire earth inch by inch. And you know all of those little seeds that we planted? Look at what God has helped them to become. Her mother hugged her and smelled the sweet aroma of the freshly picked flowers. Hmm. Sounds like you've had quite an adventure. The little girl, who did not seem quite so little anymore, lovingly stated, On the contrary, my dear mother, 
the adventure has just begun. Years passed, and the little girl grew up. One day, as she and her little girl were out in that same flower garden, they saw a teeny tiny inchworm slowly making its way through the garden. They listened closely, and sure enough, they could hear a small voice chanting, I'm getting there, I'm getting there, I'm getting there, wahoo! I'm getting there, I'm getting there, and you can get there too! The little girl squealed with delight. <gasps> Mama, it's our inchworm! He's made it! The inchworm confidently stood up, and beaming with pride, he touched the sky! Hello once again, my dear sweet friend. My long travel journey has finally come to an end. With tears of joy in her eyes, the mama introduced her lifelong friend to her young daughter. My dear, this is the not so little inchworm I have always told you about. He has lived his life with purpose. He has made a difference in the lives of others along the way. Now he has finally reached his goal. See how happy he is? <laughs> the inchworm crawled onto the finger of the little girl. She raised him up so that she could take a closer look at him. Oh, I am so very pleased to meet you. Mama has told me so much about you. The inchworm humbly smiled. The way has been long, but my hope has stayed strong, for I knew I'd be greeted by your sweet smile when I one day completed this, my final mile. Many things I have learned along my way, but the best is right here, a love which will stay. They went home to share with Granny the many adventures at each spot on his map. Then the inchworm sleepily yawned. Oh, now, my dears, it's time for a nap. After tucking him in, they all said with a grin, Sleep well, our victorious friend. Your mission's complete. It's now time to rest and enjoy your new home so sweet. And with that, the happy inchworm dozed peacefully off to sleep. Sweet big dreams. Look at there, he's on cloud nine. By the way, the inchworm found that the earth is one billion five hundred seventy seven million. 756,644 inches around. And that, my sweet friend, is the end. May you always read and dream big because God is with you and he loves you. And I love you too.